Hello everyone. Today I will be going to teach you about how to make hybrid topology in Cisco Packet Racer. In my previous videos, I have explained how to make ring topology, bus topology, and various other topology. So basically, hybrid topology is a type of topology in computer networks, which is a combination of two or more different topologies. So in hybrid topology, we connect two or more different topologies to make a hybrid topology. So in this video, I am going to show how to make hybrid topology. So I am going to take here one mesh topology as a backbone and one star ring and bus topology we need here four pieces and you have to connect this four pieces with a switch so press ctrl and select 295024 remember if there are four pieces of four switch will be there and now connect this copper straight through wire between the pc and a switch Remember, you can connect to any Ethernet port of switch, doesn't matter. Remember, when you have to use copper straight through wire when you are connecting a node with a networking device, and you have to connect a copper cross over wire when you have to connect one networking device to other networking device. When you have to connect one networking device to other networking device. So this is a mesh topology so in this mesh topology the number of wires that we need to calculate here is n n minus 1 by 2 so they will be interrelated i hope you know how to make mesh topology so watch my previous video so now you have to give ip addresses to the pc desktop ip configuration i'm giving it as 192.168.10.1 to copy this whole address it's this class a does something was 3 time to 55.0 close this you have to only need to change the last bit which is our host bit so paste it here 10.2 close to the following step in the rest of the pcs so in this video i'm showing you mesh as a backbone and rest as the branches so this is a type of example of Hybrid topology. Now we have prepared a mesh topology. Now we will prepare one star topology. For star topology, I'm going to take here three pieces, and you have to connect these three pieces with a switch. I hope you know how to make each and every topology. If you don't know, because the core concept of hybrid topology is how to make individual topologies. Now look, I have take a copper straight through wire to connect a node with a switch, which is a networking device. Now give IP addresses to the PC. Desktop IP configuration, I am giving it as 10.5. It's very easy, we only need to know how to make individual topologies. After making star topology, now we have prepared two now we have prepared two topologies which is mesh topology and this is our star topology. Now we will making our one bus topology. So bus topology and you take here three pieces and this is bus topology so we will be using here hub so taking pt hub so for one pc we need to take here one hub and one extra hub which is acting as a terminator so that the message does not get passed once again now connect this networking device to a node using copper straight through wire Note that a hub has a six fast Ethernet ports and the switch has 24 Ethernet ports. Now you have to connect the networking device to a networking device using this copper crossover wire. After doing this much, we have created three topologies, which is star topology, mesh topology, and bus topology. 
so now i'm going to take make here one ring topology so for ring topology to take here three pcs and a switch so three pieces of three switch will be there so this is a ring topology so now provide ip addresses to the pc as well eight make sure that you provide each and every pc its own individual ip address Look, I have not provided the after providing. Make sure that you provide each and every PC its own individual IP address. Now, after providing every PC its IP address, now we are making a way. Ring topology. You must watch my individual videos of how to make each topology so that the concept of how to make hybrid topology will be cleared. Now connect a networking device to a networking device using this copper crossover wire. Make sure that a point to be noted is that when you connect a networking device to a networking device, we use copper crossover wire. closes now after assigning each and every ip address i have to connect this four topologies so i will name it as this is my start topology this is my mesh topology this is my bus topology and this is my ring topology after doing this much now we have to connect this four topologies we will use here a copper crossover wire to connect now look this switch will be connected to this part of mesh topology this hub will be connected to this part of mesh topology and this ring topology switch will be connected to this switch now we have made a connection between all this look here this mesh is acting as a backbone and three are this topologies are the branches this is an example of how to make hybrid topology now we will run the pdu message which is the packet data unit transfer from sender to receiver before doing that click on simulation show all man edit filters click on icmp which is internet control message protocol which is used for transferring message from one pc to another pc suppose i want to send the message from this pc 5 to pc 8 look the status is in progress now so i will play this you will see the message is being transferred this note that this circle shape like orange me means this is a blocked path so it green triangle symbol I will turn back to the same PC. How many has come? So this is how we make hybrid topology in Cisco Packet Tracer. You can transfer any message from any other PC. Doesn't matter. It is a type of topology in computer networks, which is a combination of two or more different topologies. Now, what are the advantages? It is extremely flexible, very reliable, easily scalable, handles large amount of traffic. disadvantages are it is very expensive design of network is very complex installation is a difficult process so i hope you like my video if you like it then please like share and subscribe thank you